right, what's going on, you guys? It's Resto, and now we're moving on to the Shadow Priest 84 Twink. Like I mentioned in all the videos, we're keeping this nice, short, and sweet, just showing you guys the main juicy stuff. Uh, I don't really care to go in depth, just because Cataclysm is around the corner for Classic. Um, things are subject to change if there's new things being in there, so take everything I say with a grain of salt, all that fun stuff. Let's get right into it. Uh, starting off with the Helm of the Typhonic Beast. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the 26 Intellect and 20 Crit Enchant on this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and also reforge the Hit into Haste. I went ahead and turned Spirit into Hit with the Talents, so you're going to notice a lot of the Hit on this gear is going to be reforged. Um, with a Spellcaster, guys, all you need to do is get to 4%. As you can see, I'm a little past that, which is 100% okay. Um, but that's why I'm taking all this stuff away, so that way I can utilize what's there into something else. Uh, moving on to the neck, you're going to go with the Tonka's Necklace. Um, this right here is going to be reforged from the uh, Haste into Mastery. What we're looking at here, guys, when it comes down to a Spellcaster, is you're able to go Haste Mastery. Obviously, it's going to be the go-to, but once you have so much Haste, it obviously turns into nothing. So you can kind of reiterate those resources to other things. So I chose a little bit more crit to have in my arsenal. Um, so that's why I chose this as a reforge. Otherwise, I would leave it the same and change crit into mastery if I could. But anyways, this is why I run that. Moving on to the shoulders, Blight Lifter's Mantle. We're going to go ahead and use the 24 Spell Power, 15 Critical Strike Enchant on this as well from the Faction of Wrath of the Lich King. Haste Mastery. This comes from the last boss in City, if I'm remembering this correctly. No, it's come from in the quest. It's the quest. The quest that kills the last boss. I always get those two shoulders messed up. So, that's what you're going to go for that. The cloak, this is going to come from Reputation. Uh, you're going to go ahead and reforge the spirit into haste. So you have a haste mastery cloak. Put 70 spell pen on this. You do not want any of your spells being resisted, guys. Uh, going on to the chest piece. This is a really nice chest piece for this specific class because of the mastery. You're going to go ahead and reforge the spirit into haste to have a haste mastery chest piece. 50 spell pen, 20 int, 20 mastery. Um, I run the 20 int, 20 mastery, and I'm going for socket bonuses on this, guys. You guys don't have to do this. I've seen other people just go pure intellect. It is completely up to you. You guys seen how my class performed in that last video. Um, so this is what I've been using. This is what I was using. Uh, 20 all stats is also going to go on this chest piece. Cataclysm and chance are always going to be on the 84 in twinks. Uh, moving on to the bracers, so I have the sand silk wristbands right now with 65 haste. This is fine, nothing wrong with this whatsoever. However, I would use a different wrist if it actually decided to drop, which it doesn't. It's been a pain in my ass lately. It's coming from, I want to say, no, not, not Grim Patrol. What's it called? Blackrock Caverns? No, 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 no. What is it? What is it? I can't think of it. What was that other dungeon? Hold on, hold on. Let's just let's just go for a cue here. It is Grimbatol. No. Am I fumbling the? It is Grimbatol. Okay, you're gonna want to go for this. The Crimson Born Bracers. You're gonna go ahead and change the hundred spirit into mastery, so that way it's crit mastery, just like how this is crit mastery as well. Um, the only difference is this is gonna be spirit, right? So you're benefiting from the spirit rather than just raw hit, and the spirit is already being converted into hit, right? So you're gonna take a little bit of that away, put it into mastery, so that'll dump you still into the four percent range. You won't be losing to uh, less than four percent with that, but you're getting the benefits from the spirit, which is important. So that's why this is better than this. But you're still gonna use the same enchant still reforge the same stuff i'm um, just going to reforge the spirit instead of hit anyways moving on to the gloves we're looking at the bone fever gloves this is going to be a reputation grind as well the dragon mall from twilight uh 65 mastery is going to go on this what you're going to do is reforge the hit into haste so you have a haste mastery glove the belt you're looking at the belt of mystical betrayal you're going to go ahead and reforge the critical strike into haste so you have a haste mastery belt 20 in 20 mastery from the belt buckle Moving on to the pants. This comes from a quest line in Twilight Highlands as well. Uh, you're going to reforge the critical strike into haste. This is a huge mastery pants. 
100% get this for that 55 intellect, 65 stamina spell thread um, that you're going to use on the pants as well. Moving on to the boots, we're looking at the Halcatic slippers. Going to reforge the spirit into haste so that way you have mastery boots with haste onto them with the 50 haste on top of that. Super nice. Uh, right here for the rings, I went with the beneficial band for the mastery. Reforge the spirit into haste. Then same thing with the spirit creeper ring. Um, this comes from Grimbatol. This comes from the Lost City, first boss. Uh, crit strike, reforge the crit into haste. They have a haste mastery there. Really nice mastery rings. Now for the trinkets, they're pretty straightforward. Um, I'm not human, so I have a medallion. You need a medallion. You do not want to have two trinkets. You need a medallion. You need to get out of so many different things as a shadow priest. You have so little defensives, it sucks. Outside of dispersion, you're literally useless. So <laughs> literally need this. Um, and then I chose Sara Song for the mastery, of course. Don't really care for the alchemy trinket on this tune in particular for shadow so i went with this plus that spell pen or that spell power bonus is really nice now when it comes to the weapon i'm using the very manly staff haste mastery power torrent super super nice comes from the crucible and the twilight highlands so go ahead and get a group together for that pretty easy to get shouldn't be too much and then grimpatol as well for the one of the untainted power um, the only thing you do is reforge the spirit into mastery so you have a haste mastery wand Mwah. too easy uh, moving on to the professions so what i would run for professions guys is when it dives down into these two engineering is an absolute must as a shadow priest i cannot stress this enough those grenades are going to save your life in terms of kiting those boots are going to save your life in terms of kiting you need that distance when it comes to people you cannot stay hand-to-hand -hand combat you will a hundred percent die there is nothing you can do as a shadow priest outside of dispersion like i said especially if you don't have a healer nearby you're screwed engineering is going to save your life now for the second profession, I would choose either tailoring for the enchants or enchanting for the ring enchants. So it's completely up to you which other uh, which enchant you want to prioritize. Do you want enchants on your rings or do you just want more improved enchants on the gear that you have currently with enchants? So 100% up to you and how you want to rock with that. Um, but those are the two professions that I would go with. It's all preference. Like I said, there's really no true bis as in terms of professions because it all evolves around play style and the preference of what you would want to improve more. Because um, if we could have all the enchants from leatherworking, tailoring, uh, the socket bonuses from blacksmith and enchanting rings at one time, I mean, professions would be useless. So it's really to what you want more of. Um, like I said, there's no there's no ifs, ands, or buts. This is what you got to choose. So tailoring, enchanting. That's what we got for professions. For the talents, um, this is what I'm rocking for shadow. Uh, like I said, I went with Twisted Faith. Uh, this is going to have 50% of any spirit turned into hit. So that's where a lot of your hit points are going to come from or your spirit gear. It's also going to help with mana. You run out of mana so damn quick as shadow. It's not even funny. So... You need some spirit. But anyways, this is what I run. Take a screenshot, pause the video, do what you got to do. I'm not going to dive too far into it. Like I said, it's supposed to be a short, sweet guy that you guys can see in overview. Glyphs. This is what I run for the glyphs. I have the glyph of shadow word pain. I have the glyph of shadow word death. And then I have glyph of dispersion. Obviously, you want this to reduce that cooldown. Uh, we're going into the majors with glyph of dispel magic, glyph of mass dispel glyph of psychic horror and then for your miners you want shadow fiend levitate and shadow uh i just don't really care about any of this other than shadow fiend you definitely want this this is like a must have no ifs ands or buts um these two you can choose anything that you want here um i chose levitate so that you don't need a regent obviously it's, it's also huge this is more of a cosmetic thing so you can see more of your transmog rather it being darker if you don't care about that then you can just run fortitude you know reduce the mana cost of things so completely up to you on what you guys want to run when it comes down to that but this is definitely a must have you need to have this but this is what i run um, but like i said short sweet nothing too crazy guys i just like to dive into that stuff i'm going to start working on the next class i'm going to be doing a guide on all the classes that i've already presented on the channel showing you guys how they're played and how they perform 
Um, so if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. But other than that, it's been Resto, guys. See you guys next time.